All right, so hello friends. So today I just wanted to show you uh, making some more tools for forging. Um, so I like the twist design in a lot of the stuff. Like I've made some spoons. I'll show you that some other time, but um, out of square stock and put the twist pattern in. Um, I've made one uh, railroad spike knife that I put a twist in. I want to make more of those. Um, <clears throat> so just show you what I'm doing. Instead of, I don't really have any good uh, metal stock right now to make my own like freehand twisting tool. So I've made one out of an extra pipe wrench that I had. Um, so you can see I wanted it to be in line with the handle. So I ground a little bit on the end of my pipe wrench. I uh, got a 5 16 I don't know, like seven inch bolt here. Uh, welded it on so that I can use two hands to more evenly twist. Cause I tried a twist with just doing it, you know, trying to balance it with just the one handle and it kind of bends it and tweaks it. So, uh, made one out of a pipe wrench to try and make it easier. Um, a big adjustable wrench, same thing. Uh, trying to keep the handle in line. Um, so I thought I'd show you, uh, me making one today. Um, this is an eight inch adjustable wrench and this is one of the thinnest ones that I have that I can find. I've got some that have a thicker head, but I actually want a thin head that's a little smaller if I'm doing a tighter, uh, like quarter inch, three sixteenths, something metal, and I want to put a twist in it. I just want a thinner head so that then I don't have such an end that isn't being twisted. So I thought I'd show you guys me making one out of an adjustable wrench. So here we go. All right, so I cleaned up the head of the wrench and my 5 16 bolt, uh, cleaned up the end, thinned it out a little bit uh, so I can put the bead and build up the bead of weld on there. Um, so let's just, and I do want it to be in line with the handle as much as I can. So we'll see, oh, I need to grind more of an angle on this. So that's why we check those things.
Okay, so I've got it narrowed down and a little angle on there so that I can weld it more in line with the, the handle, keep that going. So I will get ready to tack that up and then get some weld on it. guys so just like that now I've got a two-handled adjustable wrench for putting on and making twists so I'll just throw some black paint on that or you know just throw some paint on it just so it doesn't get any extra rust but got it all welded up tool still adjusts so there we go all right thanks for watching